What's up everyone? Welcome to the 10th episode of Cartoon Fight Night. I'm your host, GH3, and if you're new to the series, be sure to check out the first episode. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Ethan the Green Jester, Anthony Stallings, and Josh Medley. So if you enjoyed what you see, check their links down below. And that's right, for tonight's battle, we have a fight between Slenderman and Enderman. If you want to see a review of Slenderman, I recommend watching WD Gaster vs. Slenderman located on the Animation Rewind channel. And since Enderman is new to the Cartoon Fight Club and Cartoon Fight Night series, I will be doing a review of Enderman. Enderman is a Minecraft mob who hates being looked at. He teleports everywhere and is able to carry many different types of blocks. Enderman will wander and teleport around until a player attacks or stares at them. Staring at Enderman will make it hostile and they will begin to attack you. Once Enderman is provoked, he will continue to attack you unless he gets distracted. If you attempt to shoot anything at Enderman, he will be able to dodge it. Enderman is able to dodge arrows, snowballs, eggs, and negative splash potions. The best way to stay safe from Enderman is to go in water or direct sunlight. Enderman will take damage from fire, water, or lava. They will also take damage from physical attacks. Overall, Enderman can teleport and dodge most projectiles, but can be easily damaged by water and sunlight. Let's not waste any time and get straight into the fight. This fight will take place on Earth with no prep time. Let the battle begin! and check out some old Bill Cosby commercials. Something tells me with the knowledge we know about him today, the commercials of yesterday are gonna take on a whole new meaning. And the winner is Slenderman. But before we discuss why, I have a huge shout out to the battle animators Ethan the Green Jester, Anthony Stallings, and Josh Medley. If you enjoyed what you saw, please check their links down below. Slenderman has many of the same abilities as Enderman, but Slenderman is much more tactical. Slenderman can use his tentacles as a defense mechanism and attack Enderman from long distances. Slenderman can also mind control his opponents, this would obviously give him the advantage in the fight. Although Slenderman's weakness is his head, keep in mind that Enderman can be damaged by simply coming into contact with water. If Enderman is not strong enough to handle water, then he wouldn't survive a full physical attack from Slenderman. Slenderman's tentacles are so strong that they can rip trees right out of their roots. The only thing that Enderman is good at is dodging projectiles and lifting bricks. Enderman struggles when it comes to combat because Enderman never knows when to give up. Enderman will continue to fight until he is defeated or comes into contact with water. Slenderman's speed and power were much more effective against Enderman, and that's why the winner of tonight's fight is Slenderman. Quick reminder, be sure to check back on the main channel for the monster free-for-all with Bendy and the Ink Machine vs Undertale, Godzilla, and more. Now if you want to see a tentacle free-for-all with Squidward, Kaneki, and Slenderman, all you have to do is like this video. If this video gets 10,000 likes, there will be a tentacle free-for-all on the Cartoon Fight Night channel. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as I reveal the next fighters. 
on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Night. Uh,